Hello and good morning, family. Happy Monday. It is September the 9th. It is 9-9 today. And we're going to kick off this week with a little advice because it's Monday and it sure feels like it. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I would like uh, continued prayers for our King of Cups, whose mother passed away. We send him all of our love and blessings and letting him know that our family is there for him. Okay, anyone else going through something out there, our prayers are with you too, because that's what this family does. All right, let's see what advice we need today. Quan Yin, let's see if we can put the pieces together. Quan Yin, number 20, Nectar of the Lotus. Nectar of the Yoda, uh, Yodas, Lotus. Speaking of nectar, these old hummingbirds, they're crazy. They're going through this, these, I guess they're getting ready to migrate because they're going through their feed like crazy. All right. The Divine Mother wishes that those who are meant to feed others be well fed too. Your devotion to helping others has the effect of squeezing the cosmic heart chakra of the Divine Mother. From her heart drips nectar, sweet, sustaining, life-affirming energy that feeds you and allows you to nourish many souls. Like a sacred chalice that overflows, when you are full, well, and vital, the feeding of others happens effortlessly. You are guided to be fed now, fed with divine nectar from the heart of the mother. What are you feeding your soul today? Goodness, I hope. All right, a little earth magic today. We're not even on earth. We're at the moon. Full moon represents completion. Moon phases, perhaps. Looks like it. Every 29 and a half days, Grandmother Moon shines bright and full in the sky, illuminating the landscape with her muted brilliance, casting a delicate canopy over the sky and the physical features of Earth. Having gradually etched her way over the last two weeks to fulfillness, she now stands like a guiding beacon in the night. She has completed this round of her perpetual and periodic monthly journey and will now start her slow but steady retreat into shadow. In this, we see the grandeur of the moon at its peak, blazing brightly and creating a silhouette of a tree. This beautiful orb reminds us that all cycles have their time of completion and fulfillment, one that will inevitably be followed by a de decrease until yet another cycle is initiated. And that's true. Our life works in cycles. These roller coasters, they go up and down, and we go through phases. And each phase is just as important as the next. No one more important than the other. Are we feeding our cycles with nectar today? All right. Um, moving on. This is your lantern oracle. Number 40. Inner integration. There is peace, equilibrium, and fulfillment in integrating the inner wild with the taming and tempering effect life has on us. Oh, it will tame you. It will absolutely. There are some things in life in our cycles that will actually bring you to your knees. But then there are things that will make you feel like you're on a high. Throughout our lives, we go through many phases and versions of ourselves, just like that moon, right? We explore different roles, terrains, experiences, and company. At each stage of human development, we are mostly physiologically and psychologically attuned to the archetype consciousness of either maiden, mother, guardian, or crone. Well, this could be dad, too, father, okay? Broadly speaking, each archetype energy is a life stage or cognitive window that shapes and contains the ways we are capable of perceiving, processing, and engaging with life throughout that phase. Each facet or version of ourselves is, in of itself, incomplete, wild, raw, and uncut, so to speak, especially upon entering into a new life phase. We learn to find our way and adjust as we go. This takes time. Experience and increasingly maturity tame us as we slowly master the maiden, mother, guardian, and crone energy. 
eventually our rough edges get worn down to a smooth surface. And we become increasingly adept at recognizing the red flags which battles are necessary to fight. And that's true. Each phase will have its own battles and blessings. Some of us need a stronger, more coarse sandpaper to smooth our edges, but that's okay. It's what makes us unique. All right? Embrace each phase of your life um, as, you know, you got to look at it as a blessing because they make us stronger. We learn from them, and that's okay. We may not like it at the time, but in hindsight, we see them as blessings. All right, reaching up here to Whispers of Healing, we have number 29, Sincere Relationships. Hmm. What do we need to learn from our relationships? All right. Bring your awareness to the people you surround yourself with. Toxic associations can create stress, sadness, apprehension, and other negative emotions. It's important that you're honest about how you feel about your most significant relationships. Okay, think of it like what are you what kind of relationships do you have and what are they feeding your soul? Okay, since we're feeding off nectar today. This is not limited to romantic relationships and may include an employer, a family member, or a friend who has a lot of influence in your life. Consider whether a relationship is causing you unnecessary stress. Is your social life a source of negativity? This exercise is not about blame. You're simply deciding how your various relationships affect your emotional energy. If there's tension in a relationship, try having a healthy conversation with the individual involved. <laughs> I kind of chuckle. That's easier said than done sometimes. Take responsibility for your role in the situation, but be clear on what it is that you want as an outcome. Examine how you relate to the people who you meet. Having relationship, healthy relationships brings more health to your life. If a relationship is sincere, the communication's relaxed. There's honesty. Both parties feel empowered 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 and your life is truth truthfully better with the person in it and that's true some some just go with the flow i mean it's just really easy it's relaxed it's natural it's like we've known each other all of our lives those are the easy ones but i'm sure we can all probably name at least one that seems like it takes a lot more effort and work okay it takes a lot more patience, but they're in our soul contracts for a reason, to teach us something. Okay, we have Beyond Lemuria today, number six, the high heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. I believe we talked about heart chakra over here too. All right. This is about divine love, selflessness, spiritual compassion, oneness through heart-centered bliss, healing, gratitude, giving love, dharma, patience, and joy. This card taps into the blissful oneness we feel as we drop away our edges and protective containers. This is the place where we feel held and seen enough to flow into oneness, where the eternal part of me meets the e eternal part of you. This is the selfless state where our higher selves commune for illuminated perspective on how we share, gift, and lift others in a joyful overflow. So think about those relationships that you're in. Do they flow easily? Are the phases um, painless? Not so much struggle. You know, what are, what are we feeding our soul? All right, moving on. What do we have uh, shadow work to work on today? This is about envy. Like a moth to a flame. Turn green eyes into a force of self-improvement and inspiration. Envy can be a nasty, ugly thing. Remember the, the old phrase, green with envy? So don't have green eyes. All right. We... Sometime in this society have come accustomed to being envy, keeping up with the Joneses. What do they have? What do I want? Bigger, better, more expensive. Um, 
You know, even one of our commandments, thou shalt not covet, you know, the neighbors, whether it's their spouse or their house or their car. You know, we, we have to learn to be happy that people are blessed because people look at you and they're envious of you, believe it or not. If you feel like you just don't have anything, people would probably give their right arm to have what you have. Just feel blessed. Be in the moment. Let's not envy each other. We can't be jealous of someone else's blessings. We wish them well. And we work, you know, why is it triggering you? Why are you envious of them? Do you have more work to do? Could be just a phase in your life that we're working on. All right? Don't feed the envy. All right? If we're talking about feeding our heart chakras and souls today, do not feed into that. Take a moment and have gratitude for the Creator for what you have at this moment. Okay, our inner child today, who is this little guy? He's got dandelions. Maybe he's going to make some tinctures. He's working for Terry. Number 40, natural connection. We had another number 40 up here. Interesting. I don't always pay attention to the numbers, but sometimes. Natural connection. So think about relationships. You know, do we have natural connections with people? I'm a bright and blossoming bean. Yes, you are. And just like a dandelion, it goes through phases. You go through phases. They pop up green, then they make these beautiful flowers, which are great and healthy for you, all parts of it, if you did not know. And then they go through a phase where they wither out and become these seeds, and then they go and reseed the rest of the world and start all over again. You kind of do the same thing. All of our phases. All right, do you have a natural connection to everyone in your life? All right, something to ask yourself today. Your spirit animals, number 68, the wombat spirit. Be at home. Our wombat has decorative headgear today. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one with headgear, but all right. The wombat spirit, be at home. Do you feel at home? We know that guy is just a temporary place. But let's see what this means. Burrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe, sound, and well-fed. Uh-huh. See, we're talking about feeding today with family. Is a special trait of the wombat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. Wombat spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. You do this by accepting all of your experience without judgment through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well. Everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. Do you feel comfortable where you're at? Or are you envious of the people around you? That's some deep soul search in there. Are you content? Or are you always trying to gain more? If you're never going to be content with what you have, we lack gratitude. And when we lack gratitude, our heart chakra can't grow. Okay? Your final card today, your little extra tarot Kind of appropriate, Seven of Pentacles, and this is my garden card. Talk about feeding our spirit, feeding ourselves with nectar, the dandelions, our phases. Gardening goes in phases as well. But this is about kind of, re, you know, reap what you sow. What are you putting into the world? You've put all this work in, and now you're waiting to harvest what you've done, another part of the cycle completion garden is complete now to bring in your harvest so it could be a physical garden but think about the garden that you're making spiritually in your life with your family with your soul tribe what are you putting into it are you nurturing and watering it are you overwatering it all these things are 
metaphorically speaking. The more work you put into it, the prettier the garden. Now, of course, we need Mama Gaia to help and do her part too, water and all that good stuff. But what you put out, you get back. You reap what you sow. All right? Make sure that you're surrounding yourself with like-minded, loving people. It's not always possible. We've always got one or two out there that just kind of want to bang your head against the wall. They're there for a reason because they're challenging you. All right? But regardless of what relationship you're in with who, they go through cycles. You go through cycles, and it's okay. Be in the moment. Live in the moment. That's what life is. All right? All right, guys. That is your message for today. I hope you have a very blessed day. I will see you on my show later, 1 o'clock Eastern. Bring your questions. I will be ready. All right? Until then, have a very blessed day. Know that God loves you, and so do I.